Today's episode is with Barton Scott, the founder of Upgraded Formulas. This is our third episode together. We did our first one as one of my first episodes where he educated on the importance of minerals um, and also on nanoparticle size and ab absorption of minerals. So if you haven't heard that one, check that out. We did another one where I took his hair mineral analysis and we saw where my baseline levels were. Um, in that episode, uh, if you missed it, I was really magnesium deficient and had some other ratios that were off. Um, I found that really interesting because I was taking magnesium glycinate. Um, so this third episode is after I have now been taking the upgraded formula supplements. We wanted to see where I was at. I admit I have not been a perfect little client. I have not been taking this stuff as consistently as I should. Um, but I think you'll be interested to, to see what the results were even though I wasn't taking them as much. And I'm, I'm such a believer in this nanoparticle size, um, uh, what would you say, formulation of minerals. So they're like one ten thousandth the size of the cell so they can get through the cell membrane, right? So the absorption is a lot higher than something that like they estimate that some of these minerals that you take orally, you only get like maybe 20%. Um, and on top of it, the magnesium itself, it's not just pure magnesium. It's also part glycine for like glycinate, right? So you're not getting as much as you think you are. So I, for me, um, I guess spoiler alert in this episode a little bit, I did get my magnesium levels up a lot and that has been so eye opening for me. I think I talked about that when I'm telling you guys about it in the beginning of the episode, but, um, we're going to go in this episode a little deeper into mineral ratios, right? It's like getting the ratios, right. Barton's going to educate you on that. And a whole bunch of other stuff. He talked about like how, um, it, these, uh, imbalances can be related to addiction, um, other little personality traits we can see in ourselves when we might have some sort of mineral deficiency. Um, he honestly, he was just like this treasure trove of information so, so much good stuff. So, um, minerals are obviously one of the basics vitals of our body. Uh, magnesium itself is involved in hundreds of processes in our body. It's crucial. So, um, this is a nice geek out episode. If you want to learn more about what minerals do in your body and how you might, um, what things you might be looking for, um, symptom wise or personality wise, if you think you might have a mineral deficiency, um, you're going to find out a lot about that in this episode. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump right in. Um, I will remind you, um, again, you guys can get 10% off, not just the supplements, but also on the hair mineral analysis and the consult with them by using coupon code inside out. So I'll put a link in all the show notes so you can just get it from there, but, um, you can also go to upgradedformulas.com and just enter coupon code inside out and get those discounts, um, on the front end and also with the products that you need on the back end. All right, let's jump in. Here is, uh, me and Barton. Also, if you watch on YouTube, YouTube. We, we, this is in person. He actually was out in Salt Lake for, um, a conference. So we did this one in person. So if you want to see that, you can head over to my YouTube channel. If you're not there already. And that is youtube.com forward slash coach Tara Garrison. All right, let's jump in. So I want to tell you guys about one of my favorite finds in the health industry in the last few years. It's something I use with all my clients, and that has been extremely impacting on me as well. And that's the upgraded formulas, hair mineral tests, their consults, and their nanoparticle size minerals. So um, I started on this path because I was taking a high quality magnesium. And when I tested, I found out that I was extremely deficient in magnesium. And once I started using their nanoparticle size magnesium, my levels went right up. And what I experienced was incredible. I started getting more REM sleep. I was, I realized I hadn't been dreaming in years, started dreaming again, and also noticed that I didn't think I had anxiety until I got my magnesium back up and noticed that I was experiencing quite a lot of anxiety and that went away. And I was able to enter back into a place of calm and peace. And, um, it was just incredible. And so since then I've been using it with all of my clients and it's so easy. All you have to do, they'll mail you out a little envelope and you just put some hair in it and mail it back into their lab. And then you do a consult with them over the phone and they'll tell you all about your ratios, what's high and what's low, because you can't know this unless you test, there's no way to know. And you can't just crap shoot minerals. You have to make sure that your ratios are on point. So they will tell you exactly what you need more of, exactly what you need less of to get those ratios on point. So you can have optimized brain health and hormones and sleep and metabolism. So um, they're also giving you 10% off for being an inside out health listener. So that code is just inside out. So um, go to upgradedformulas.com and just enter inside out 
at checkout and you'll get 10% off their consults, um, the hair tests and any products that you may need to get your ratios right. So, um, yeah, take advantage of it guys. It's something I use with every single one of my clients. It's been wildly impacting and I'm happy to be able to extend that discount onto you guys too, as a thank you for listening to the podcast. Hey guys, before we get into the episode, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about higher coaching. This is my coaching system and I get a lot of questions because, um, it's not just training and nutrition. We do that. I love training and nutrition, obviously, but we also do more. We do personal development and the way that's delivered is a 90 day personal development program that you go through with me when you work with me. So it's a video course with questions for you to deep dive in yourself for the first 90 days of working with me. Now that comes as part of a morning routine. I am really big on the morning routine and you ask any of my clients, I will push you on that because it's life changing. So we start with meditation and then we do gratitude and then that personal development program. Um, that's our deep dive psychologically. And after the 90 days, you go to the next level, you start doing what I'm doing currently. And it's a lot of strategic goal setting and it's really, really honestly, miraculous what's happening, not only in my life, but in my clients' lives. Like it brings me to tears when I get on calls with them. I'm like, do you see yourself? Like, do you see what you're doing? That is so cool. So anyway, that is um, for me, the bread and butter of my coaching. I love it so much. Um, also though, in, in regards to your body, I also like to go deep dive and see what might be holding you back. So that's where all the biohacking side comes in. We do a physiological deep dive as well. So we do blood testing, hair mineral testing, DNA testing, body composition, aura ring. Um, so your heart rate variability, your sleep cycles. Do you have any deficiencies? Do you have issues with sleep you didn't even know about? Let's find out, you know? Um, so that's, that's how I approach things in higher. There's more, we do prizes every month, Nikes, Lulu's, um, all of my favorite products and foods to keep you motivated, to keep those habits up. We do three zoom calls a week. So you get support. We have a private Facebook group. We're all vibing and, and cheering each other along the way we get raw and real and honest. And it's just, yeah, it's like, I created my life and I created my life the way I like. And I like to deep dive with a bunch of bad A people that really want to optimize their lives. And it's an honor for me to serve them in that. Um, so I just thought I would tell you about it because I don't know if I talk about it quite enough. So if you're looking for that, if you're like wanting the next level in your body and also in your life, truly, that's what we're doing. So uh, seeking bad A's <laughs> to join higher. I do have some spots open. Um, it is limited. I can only handle so many clients at a time, but if you would like to find out if it's a good fit for you, you can go to my website, taragarrison.com and you can request a call and we can see if, if it's a great fit for you. Um, and yeah, I, I just wanted to tell you guys about higher so you could get a little glimpse into what I'm doing on the daily. And if you're looking for something a little more self-guided, I do have my keto in and out program, um, on my website site. So you can either do a small taste and try it for eight weeks, or you can go a full year. That baby is comprehensive. There is a video of every recipe video of every exercise. There's a 60 day course teaching you how to do keto or 30 days of keto. And then 30 days of bringing back the carbs, FAQ video library, Facebook group, like all of that. So if you're more of like the self guided person and you just want stuff planned for you, um, that is also an option on my website. It's taragarrison.com. I'll link it all in the show notes and all right, we'll go ahead and get into our episode. All right, you guys, I'm back here with Barton in person. Barton lives in Austin and I live in Salt Lake and um, he's here for a conference right now. So I was like, come over, so let's good do to the be podcast back. in person. Yeah, good to have you. And this is my third episode with Barton. So Barton is the owner of Upgraded Formulas. I'm sure you've heard, well, you heard me in the, the ad. <laughs> it's the sponsor of our podcast. But these are the, the nanoparticle sized minerals that I'm raving about all the time. And this is finally us doing our third episode. Barton was <laughs> one of my first podcast guests. And I was like, we'll do a three part thing yeah. where you educate on the importance of minerals. And then we'll see, do my test and see what I'm deficient in, which we did. And then I'll take your stuff and we'll do another test. And I just took forever. <laughs> a year <laughs> went by. This is 
my fault, you guys. And and I like We're busy. full disclosure, I have not been a perfect mineral taker. I have done pretty good. So if the results aren't optimal, it is not the product's fault. It's definitely mine. But um, but I did, especially with magnesium. Increase. Yeah. I, I, I that one I was like, holy crap, it was so low. And then there were some others. I mean, I definitely increased my oh, intake yeah. of these minerals. And so we're gonna talk about today what my results look like um, from the last test that I just took. So I will let you take it from here. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, this is this is really fun. Yeah, we've talked about doing this for a while. I know Tara has been saying like, hey, uh, like yet another person's like, hey, when are you doing that follow up? So today's the day. Um, <laughs> I'm pumped. Um, yeah. So I know just in terms of and we see this a lot too, right? So the ideal testing window is between two and three months as far as test and retest. Uh, because that inch and a half of hair, that's about how long that takes to grow. So uh, that being said, you know, like Tara's super busy. So am I, <laughs> we tried to do this pretty well. Her levels did improve, but your output improved so much. So I'll, I'll tell a, a quick story that's similar to this. Um, be, because you went from running, well, yeah, sorry. So ju just the story, yeah, let's, really. Let's, let's back them up a little. If yeah. you didn't hear the other two episodes, if you if you didn't hear the other two episodes, like there was uh, there's a woman I worked with directly, um, uh, I guess about a year ago, which is still pretty rare now. Like our our nutritionists handle the consultations now, um, for the most in almost every case, really. But um, yeah, she was like, I know my levels didn't improve that much, but I did go back from running not at all to 75 miles a week. <laughs> so like, I feel like I have a lot of energy and it's because you're burning it, yeah. right? So you're getting it, you're feeling it, you feel the energy and she got off of the couch and she's able to run again. Right, right. And she was a, kind of like a chronic <laughs> high like, stress person sure, runner. Let yeah. me make sure my adrenals are as plummeted as possible. Yeah, just like bam. <laughs> it's like spending your money as soon as you get it kind of. Exactly. It, it's, it's I, a, I can relate. <laughs> yeah, totally. So. Tara uh, is such a like go-getter, and she, as anyone listening to this podcast uh, from more than one episode knows. So uh, if you don't mind me saying, I think your foot is also heavily on the pedal all the time, and you're like, oh, cool, more fire, and then, then you get it, and you're like, oh, I'll just start running six-minute miles every day. Accurate. Which I'm not even exaggerating. I like to go fast. Yeah, you yeah. do. So like, I know before we had started doing that, um, you weren't running as much and your output, I don't know how much increased, but increased some just in talking to you, yeah. uh, which, which, uh, certainly like, you know, obviously for, to, to improve on paper as much as possible, you keep everything like homeostasis, right? Mm -hmm. The scientific method is you change one variable, right. you go through everything, which is impossible to yeah. do in today's life. But you know, that being said, uh, still like a great, so our profile and and as always there's areas to improve too so mm -hmm. um which is awesome right because uh, you know if you already feel like pretty superhuman which if you can run if you can lift if you can do all the things you do uh build a business and then still have this energy to have like to be lit up to walk mm -hmm. through life um the way you do then i mean heck you're doing yeah. something right so yeah. Um, the couple, there's a couple areas and I can, we can just dive in if you want. Um, yeah. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. If you're watching on YouTube, you should watch on YouTube because we show cool stuff on YouTube. But if, if you're listening, you'll just have to pretend. But if you're watching on YouTube, this is kind of like what the analysis looks like. So this is why I always tell my clients and anyone who's doing it, get the consult because <laughs> mm -hmm. you're not going to know what this means. Okay. So they have a, con a, a, a dietitian who will meet with you and, and analyze it all and tell you what it means. But obviously Barton is the, the head honcho. So he's going to analyze this one for us today. Absolutely. So, so we have that and then I'll show you just briefly. We have a second page here as well and uh, made a couple notes here for Tara. So What's really, really cool, and for anyone that didn't see the first two episodes, it's been, frankly, it's been so long that I don't even remember everything we covered, uh, yeah. but um, the, the, the main ratios that we look at, um, or the, the main area of this test I find super, super helpful is uh, this area of important ratios, aka significant ratios is the terminology they use. And um, we're looking at metabolism, we're looking at adrenal function and vitality, uh, from one perspective with sodium and potassium, we're looking at calcium 
and potassium. We're looking at zinc and copper. We're looking at uh, sodium and magnesium, calcium and magnesium. Uh, calcium and magnesium, for example, is like blood sugar sensitivity and how you just that whole relationship between blood glucose and insulin uh it's a, i find it to be just all of these areas super super interesting mm -hmm. zinc to copper is like hormones so just kind of giving you a brief overview of like what's possible to look at and understand yeah. from this test which i found just hands down to be uh, if you guys are familiar with occam's razor that kind of concept of the simplest ideas is the best sometimes often almost always the best mm -hmm. this is the one test if you're going to do one with a physical that i found after doing thousands of dollars of testing it's why we lead with this as a company is it tells you how you're doing and it measures everything on one level playing field so you're not taking iron from blood and then taking this from urine and you're taking this on a different day and then you you're doing that it's all on the same level so you get to see relationships because just like in life, I mean, the relationships between these things are what matters for sure. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's not just like, oh, iron's low or, or zinc, yeah. zinc is high, so no more zinc or, you know, isolating, which is what we kind of do in Western medicine mm -hmm. a lot is like we just want to isolate everything and not understand how they interact off each other. So I appreciate you educating on that, that it's, it's about the ratios. And again, that's why, like... I'm just being real. That's why I find it very valuable to do a consult with them because mm -hmm. they know how to help you get those ratios balanced and also yeah. to educate you. Like that's a huge tip off. Like, Oh, zinc to copper has to do with my, my sex hormones. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? So they can educate you on that kind of stuff. So, so, so funny. I mean, I can absolutely speak to this personally. Um, but you, you can absolutely change someone's personality by having way too much copper. If a guy has way too much <laughs> copper, uh, or if a guy has low zinc or way too much zinc, for example, way too much zinc, he's going to be super analytical, super analytical, which can be great for some jobs, some professions, wow. but his ability to connect with uh, a very high copper woman, uh, very, very difficult, like very difficult. And I feel like I've never really gone into that and talked about why that is, but, um, it's it's so yeah we haven't even had a chance to talk about this so this is can you nutshell why do you know do we mm -hmm. know why that is why is it yeah so so whenever so copper is is thought of as like a a f very feminine element it it powers the adrenals and we'll talk about copper and addiction uh -huh. in a minute too very and cool. how copper and cadmium look similar to the body and what happens there mm. so remind me we'll come back okay. to that okay. um zinc to copper so zinc i think it's it might not be a stretch for a lot of people to think of zinc as a sort of male element because it's so related to testosterone we know that it's in like every male mm -hmm. um yeah supplement you know it's mm -hmm. it's one of the main ones right well why well in part because sperm is made up of zinc and magnesium um from a mineral standpoint like heavily so you know, if you're trying to get pregnant, uh, these are things that you want to be checking for sure. Um, and also just to optimize testosterone. And for the ladies too, you also want to have optimal testosterone and that balance. So Tara is one of the spots on her chart where she's like, ideal is her zinc to copper, uh, which makes sense in how you show up. Like mm -hmm. you, have, you have the ability to access both masculine and feminine, mm -hmm. which is awesome. We all want to be able to do that, right? Because you need to be in... There, there's just different situations, right, that suit one over the other. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to, that can go into that. But, um, yeah, it's super, it's, um, it's really, really important. You can change someone's personality and you can dress, you can wipe out a guy's libido by having either copper toxicity or hidden copper toxicity. Mm -hmm. What I mean by hidden copper toxicity is you, you have this... Um, you look at your first, like your first page and your copper maybe is, you know, a 1.5. It's not extreme. It's not, you know, it's in a pretty good spot, but yet you have, there's about 10 other markings we look at to determine if that's a, a thing. I'm not going to go through all of them right now because um, people would never remember them. It's a, it's a lot, but we have a checklist and you want to just understand if, you have hidden copper toxicity because if you're, especially if you're a guy in a relationship, 
you're not you quite literally will be fighting your biology to want to to have, want to have sex wow. uh, or, or just show up in a like normal masculine sort of leadership way and provide structure to the environment things like that like healthy masculine right how do you guys get that do you know uh just it could be copper pipes it could be uh just eating too much um like copper rich foods so avocado cacao um, i've taken people off of foods that are otherwise good for them because of this mm -hmm. and it's uh, they change yeah really quickly or possibly uh, their zinc is low so their zinc is low yeah. that's a one way so there's a lot of different ways we can we can remove that copper and that's not a hard thing that's very this is reversible but if you don't identify it i have no other there's no other way you're going to see this no. like there's no other yeah. test like period full stop um yeah so that being said like yeah it's really i mean how do you get rid of copper excess if you have it um, well, you can, and, and we'll talk about what it means for a woman too in a second. So copper excess, you can take, you can take zinc, a lot of it mm -hmm. because they can absorb together. But if you stop taking, if you cut all the copper out of your diet and you start taking zinc, then well, obviously you're going to change that ratio. So, so that's one area. Um, and, and then you can talk about vitamin C. So vitamin C is... Um, it helps iron absorb, right? So we'll have an iron product soon. It's, um, it's almost, almost ready. Hmm. Uh, so by the time you're watching this, if you're, if looking at all the variables, not just if you're low in iron, you can, you can, uh, benefit from that for sure. Especially if you're, um, iron is coming <clears throat> from like plant sources and mm -hmm. you're not eating a lot of meat. Like, I think it's yeah. so important to make sure that you have that vitamin C with it, which mm -hmm. makes sense. Plants are generally created that way, yeah. but it's that non-heme iron non -heme. and you're not getting it. And I see that iron. I think it's interesting. I've, I've noticed in my practice, like iron deficiency can sometimes be mistaken, I think, for a lot of these adrenal mm -hmm. thyroid issues, right? Mm -hmm. So that's cool that you have an iron supplement coming out. That's good it, to hear. It's, it's really important. I, I've wanted to work on it for a while, but I, I wanted to also make sure that people understood that they should test yeah. uh, before taking iron. So a couple notes quickly on iron. I know we're talking about a lot of things, but and kind of jumping around, but iron... Um, deficiency we normally think of iron deficiency but in many cases it could be copper deficiency mm. uh, and it's copper luckily is it's easy to correct um, you know a couple months or less you know you're going to completely transform your copper levels for sure um, but if the danger and this is extreme is if you already have super just super low iron um, copper rather and you start to take iron you will displace that copper and your access to copper is thought to be feminine, but it's, it's creative. It's a creative element. It's, mm. um, it actually powers the adrenals. It can, it can be stimulating to the adrenals. Um, it's not the pr primary element there, uh, but it's, it's really, really powerful. So yeah, those are a couple thoughts. So let's say someone has copper toxicity. Um, again, they, it may not show, it might be hidden. Uh, I've, I've experienced that before too, like years ago, I had hidden copper toxicity and, um, yeah, so that it's, it's something that you have to change. And it, it, for me too, it changed, uh, libido very noticeably for me. It took a while to, to realize it, but it's, um, it's something that's super reversible. And, um, the, some of the ways you take it out of the body would be like vitamin C right? Because it's going to help iron absorb and that ratio, that balance yeah. between those two, iron and copper, will start to rectify itself mm -hmm. and start to improve. Uh, zinc is another way. There's, mm -hmm. there's multiple ways you can sort of triangulate. You can even um, sodium, you can, you know, adjust sodium levels. There's, there's a lot of, by, so by changing your metabolism, mm -hmm. um, you can change your phosphorus level. Um, so yeah, there's, there's so many different ways to, to get to it. I love that we started on zinc too, because mm -hmm. zinc, I mean, not only yes, is testosterone entirely mm -hmm. dependent on zinc, but so is our immune system, right? Mm -hmm. So, which is very timely right now with everybody yeah. being worried about their immune health and your immune system is dependent on zinc as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's a really key test to be looking for. And I'm really happy to hear that mine came, came back good on that one. So yeah. 
All right. Yeah, absolutely. What uh, else? Oh, one, one, I'm so glad you, you made me think of this too. So, all right. So if, if you haven't um, heard this before, which frankly, I haven't heard anyone else talk about this, the relationship between zinc and copper for viral and bacterial susceptibility is, um, I mean, this is your ratio. If you're someone that is super concerned about, uh, oh, am I going to get a virus or am I going to have a bacterial infection? Uh, absolutely, zinc and copper is, I mean, this is the, it's the elemental universe. This guides so many uh, enzymatic functions in the body. So it's not just, oh, I have copper in my system. It's if I don't, well, what happens to SOD? What happens to just, there's so many, um, I mean, zinc is so crucial for how your brain operates yeah. for insulin. I mean, all these yeah. different things. When I took Charles Poliquin's course, who um, is like kind of, Dave Asprey dedicated his book Game Changers to Charles as yeah. like the father of biohacking, right? And he, mm -hmm. I, I feel like we spent an entire day on zinc. Yeah. Like we, <laughs> I yep. have pages and pages and pages of notes on zinc because he was like, this is, it, he calls it the great mineral organizer. Yes. Like he's super 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 key on like those zinc levels being optimized so easily yeah, one of the deal. easily one of the most important nutrients that being said i have to put out a word of caution i'll tell a quick story on this and it relates to what we're talking about here so i had a friend that came over to my place he had just gotten his um his first hair analysis and he was he's working in austin with some amazing anti-aging doctors uh, that really know their stuff but they weren't looking at the the a hair analysis and they weren't looking so so it was missed and i i was just you know prepping the kitchen sort of thing and just kind of casually said you know just auto like on autopilot like oh well if you're mega dosing zinc be careful why well <laughs> you're going to get a bacterial infection uh, like at some point i can guarantee it will happen like it's just math it's just chemistry math i mean it's going to happen at some point you're not and he said he stopped and he like never cusses and and he's like whoa um i had i had to spend three days last week figuring out what to do about this bacterial infection in my mouth <laughs> and we looked and sure enough his copper was like through the floor um and i was like well there you go wow. so there he yeah, so he induced a bacterial infection wow. by not respecting this balance. Wow. Everything in the universe is balanced. Wow, good to know. Good yeah. word of caution. Yeah, so, so what do you do? You start to immediately, just that day, I handed him some of the upgraded copper. I don't know if we have it. Yeah, I guess it's not here today, but um, yeah, I mean that. And then you start to bounce right back. And, you know, it's not like you're never going to take zinc again. Your levels will change. Mm -hmm. Your diet will change. Mm -hmm. The environment that you're always interacting changes, right? Mm -hmm. um, and this is why I'm so. such a fan of testing too, because like with it's minerals, huge. the ratios matter so much. Like, I, I I fully admit from the training that I had, it was like have everybody take magnesium. Eighty per you hear these stats like eighty yeah, percent of the population is magnesium deficient. So like actually have them take way more than the RDA. And I fully admit I had all my clients on magnesium until I started doing this testing, and I back way off like yeah. the only only thing that I have my clients take before we test is krill oil and um, digestive enzymes if they're mm. doing keto. <laughs> totally. And that's it, you know? And then mm -hmm. I just wait for these to come back because it's it's like, I, honestly, I, I fully admit, I felt bad like when I'm having somebody take magnesium and they get their test back, they're like, my magnesium's through the roof. It's like way too high. Yeah. I'm like, God, I'm so sorry, you know? So totally. I was just like learning that and I think it's good uh for all of us to consider it's like you you don't have to just guess anymore right. you don't have to guess you can just get a test that's not that expensive at all right. out of pocket and just find out what you actually need and then you save money on supplements and then if you get i'm not trying to be like a commercial for and stuff the reason i promote it is because i freaking it believe works. in it but mm -hmm. like you you get what you pay for and when you pay for stuff that actually absorbs which we're going to mm -hmm. go to in a minute yeah. then it actually works and you're not like wasting money guessing wasting money buying a bunch of supplements that don't even work and you're like oh and i tried magnesium it didn't work you know like so it's worth it to like test and then take something that actually God. works and see how you feel like we, we can talk about it when we get to magnesium but mm -hmm. it's been wildly changing for me yeah <laughs> it's it's i love hearing that like god this yeah. is why i do what i do i mean this is yeah to see transformation in, in people through 
not only taking things, but stop the, the reduction of things, you can harm yourself by taking too much of something. Right. You're like paying to you're paying to yourself. You're paying to, it's like scourging yourself with a whip <laughs> that you bought and that you allotted, paid for time so you could whip yourself. And when you mess it, you go buy more every month. And then, yeah, you just one. buy more and then you're just like, I, but I'm not going to spend any money on testing. It's like, Look, I get it. It's it. You feel like it. Oh well, you know, you have to take the time, and you know, maybe someone, maybe you don't have hair, or you can. By the way, you can use underarm or pubic or hair. You know, so there's there's options. Um, let me just touch on this real quick too. If your hair is dyed, because it's such a common question, yes, uh, you can still do the test. Let the nutritionist know that your hair was dyed. Because, for example, if you dye your hair jet black, you will have high cobalt levels. That's a false positive. But we'll know that and yeah. we'll be able to interpret it. But it's so much more important if you haven't put, you know, put this together yet that you want to start on... I mean, it's not going to affect everything. For the most of, most of the tests, the majority will be unaffected. But you'll have like a high 10 level right. when, if you dye your hair blonde, possibly. So yeah. uh, there's... That's great info, because I've had, you know, they're like, I'm not growing an inch and a half of gray hair out for this <laughs> test. Sorry, Tara. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, thank you for so, sharing that. Um, real quick, before mm -hmm. we move on to another thing, you were going to yeah. speak on copper levels and addiction. Yes. All right. So this is huge as well. All right. So let's just take one heavy metal and we we test for this uh it's on the the first page at the top um so hair is not the only way that you can look at heavy metals you can look at them a number of different ways if you show any sign of it it means that you have some in your body and you should detox it that's how i interpret it mercury has no place in your body so and we m almost all of us have some uh, it's a thousand, to put in perspective, it's a thousand times more um, toxic than lead. And lead's pretty toxic. Like, lead would kill people. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, copper, let's look at copper and cadmium. So, things that, that have cadmium, marijuana, uh, coffee, um, uh yeah, there's there's just a list. You can search like like food sources high in cadmium. When you eat something that's high in copper, so like cacao, I eat cacao um, like either nibs or dark chocolate uh, for years, like almost. You don't anymore. I almost yeah, I don't anymore oh. because my copper level got high again. Really? And I was like, oh shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? No, it can't be true. I know. I love it. It was <laughs> my the, rejects. My brain rejects. the hardest thing <laughs> I've given up for. A, and again, it's not going to be forever. But right now yeah, I started, I started taking vitamin C. I started doing zinc. Um, you know, I, I just assumed my zinc levels were plenty high. So again, this changes, yeah, you know, I, I looked at my most recent test, uh, in January. I'm like, wow. Okay, uh, well, it, and I'd been like creative, but a little spacey. I, there's just, it yeah. shows up in your personality. Oh, and yeah. then now <laughs> I just feel so much more in command of just so many different things. So mm -hmm. it I changes. Was, I was going to say that on, I was thinking that this morning I was getting ready and I was up at 4.30 and doing my thing. And I was remembering before I met you and my magnesium was oh my God. like, the lowest I've ever seen on anybody's test. Mm -hmm. So it was like barely a line. And I remembered I was doing that whole thing. I was doing the same thing. I was doing my morning routine again early. And I remember like just always feeling like a freaking train had hit me. And I was just like, oh, this is just part of the grind. Like this is just what it's like, like being an entrepreneur. Like I just have to make it through this. And I just mm. don't Mindset. feel like that anymore. Like I'm mm. like, oh my gosh, I didn't need to feel like, like I would see myself on like Instagram videos and my face just looks like I've been like <laughs> smashed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I don't feel like that. And I, I am super diligent about taking my upgraded magnesium every night before bed for sure. Yeah. And it's such a simple Same. thing. I keep it in my bathroom. So it's like right there when I'm brushing my teeth, mm. it's just part of the routine. And man, like it, you're right. It completely completely changes how you show up in the world. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen a stat that, um, and I I mean, there's no way to know for sure if it's true, but virtually all disease is related in some way or another to magnesium deficiency. Huh. Uh, all. Like, certainly, and, and uh, 
a less, uh, probably still a shocking statement, but if you think about it, it yeah. really isn't. If there really doesn't, you really don't have disease when you don't have mineral deficiency and heavy, tox heavy metal toxicity. Why? Well, because when the cells at a, at a cellular level, when you can make ATP, when you can make energy freely without constriction, without construction, you know, a, a, a block, um, then you produce energy and you detox the cell. When the cells are healthy, that cell, whether it's in your heart, your brain, your liver, it's going to just live a good life, essentially, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that is, that's one of the things where, I mean, this is one of the reasons why you, you know, you, you want to do it I, I, really quarterly. Uh, I do mine every two months, but, and you, you know, because you're, it's like driving a car. You want to go left and two miles, you know, northwest from where you are. So you turn the wheel left, but if you didn't touch the wheel again, what would happen? Eventually you go in a circle. Uh, so you want to sort of, you know, test and then, you know, corrective action, test, mm -hmm. corrective action, mm -hmm. test, correct. Mm -hmm. And then now you're like, wow, I have more energy. Yeah. I sleep better. So part of that was like, Tara was not sleeping as deeply, it sounds like, because of the magnesium being low, because magnesium is one of the constituents for melatonin, uh, naturally produced melatonin in the brain. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. once you get that up, you start to sleep better. God, it changes your entire life. Well, and REM, like I... And then I you can go sprint like a madman on a treadmill yeah. like this woman. So. I got some, I got some magnesium. <laughs> Let's use it. Let's use it. <laughs> Bam. Floored. <laughs> um, Amazing. No, and, and REM sleep, like I realized I hadn't dreamed. I talked about this in the last one, but I realized oh, I hadn't yeah. been dreaming in years. I was like, wait, I dream again. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, magnesium, we know that it's not just a small player but a big player in hundreds of processes in our bodies. Yeah. So it's kind of important. I mean, mm -hmm. from thyroid function to yes, cellular health, basic ATP energy production, mm -hmm. like our hormone, every, everything, pretty much everything. So yeah, everything. you're right. Like magnesium is low. Like everything is going to be down a little yeah. bit. So yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I, I just realized like I didn't finish closing the loop on, on, on addiction. On, on addiction. Yes, let's, yes. let's go back. All right. So <laughs> cadmium and, and, um, you know, because we started talking about cacao and it's, you know, like, so I'm, I'm with you. Now you see my I'm, partner and I are friends. We're just I'm, like I'm, nerd, nerd fest. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm so, it's, it's crazy because I was so disheartened to just go like my, some of my favorite foods are high in copper and, um, yeah, so All like I want is for Barton to be able to have copper <laughs> foods again. <laughs> I know, God, <laughs> it, it's so crazy. But okay. I, I became sort of addicted to these foods mm. uh, because copper was pushing cadmium out of the system. Um, so yeah, I had cadmium too. So it's like, oh geez. So you get a relief temporarily because you're shunning what is a toxin from your bloodstream, which is yeah. the most vital place for it. So. It's actually a protective mechanism for the body to shun these heavy metals from your, your life source, really, mm -hmm. your blood, to a less mission-critical place, which is storing it in tissue. Wow. And this is the reason why it shows up in hair, and it might not show up to really any extent in blood. Um, so that's why, that's why I mean when I say if you have heavy metals on your hair test, then you have those heavy metals. Um, uh, whether or not, you know, your blood is really you on your best behavior hmm. because it it's nourishing your organs. It's nourishing your brain like it. Wow. Your body will will just push out calcium and magnesium from your bones so that, you know, if you do have like a heavy night of drinking or if you drink a lot of coffee or if you do anything that's really acidic, you're under a lot of stress, your body will quite literally start to pull that from bone marrow so it it can just maintain that really tight pH window in your blood. It's super, super critical. Wow. So, Excited. yeah, so that, that's one of the reasons, that's another reason why this is, I, I just find a really, really valuable test to do. It's something I really rely on. Do I do other tests? Sure, I do. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think anyone is remiss to, to, you know, if they're doing just like my friend was, you know, he's spending several thousand a month and yet he's not, he wasn't looking at his hair analysis and he had a bacterial infection because he overdid it with zinc. Um, so all of this is in, in, in balance. But yeah, so when we, going back to, to that copper and, and cadmium relationship, you know, even if you have a small amount of cadmium in the body, 
you know, if you're pushing it out, you're feeling better temporarily, right? So then you associate that and that becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. And then that habit eventually becomes addiction. Uh, and that could be to marijuana, um, which I, I definitely, you can see so many reasons why. Like, I think these things that we find really addictive and really exciting um, are in part because they have a multi-pronged approach. Yeah. And um, yeah, plants are intelligent. So yeah. it's, it's really, I would love to know even more about other other plants and other other aspects of this and you know more research will come i'm sure but this is it's something that's that's yeah well understood yeah even think, though it's not widely distributed yeah so. no that's such like amazing information because mm -hmm. i think a lot of us know the more obvious hitters of like coffee will boost your adrenaline and you just have this rush or mm -hmm. chocolate you get this like oxytocin release or whatever mm -hmm. but you're saying there there's could be more to the story causing mm -hmm. you to be addicted to those substances and one of those things could be they're helping you temporarily yeah. not fuel basically your heavy metal toxicity yeah. in your bloodstream for for a little bit so it's going to totally. make you even more addicted totally. so that's that's awesome information thank yeah. you and and also like it's weird how it can work both, it's, it can sort of work both ways. So if you're a smoker, you have cadmium in the cigarettes, but if you have a really high copper load, that copper can be so toxic that the cadmium can actually help for a little while. It's, it's crazy, wow. but that is, wow. that is another reason. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's wild, um, these, these correlations, but they, I mean, once you start to rectify them, that's all the, the proof you need. You're like, oh, well, I reduced this, I changed this level. I was told that I would experience these symptoms being reduced. They are being reduced. Again, you know, you yeah. have to like follow the, the protocol and do the things necessary to yeah. do it. But hey, uh, there's sort of a, um, you know, a logic to it, so. Yeah, and for heavy metals, if you get this test and you're, you know, you have that going on, two things. One, I would listen to my episode with Dr. Chris Shade on this because he is such an expert on toxicity and it's he's wonderful it was like one mm -hmm. of my favorite interviews i've done and barton was also saying on their website they have a resource for different products that mm -hmm. can help you you know because you do with 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 toxicity stuff you have to make sure that there's a process you have to go through so it doesn't just keep getting reabsorbed in your mm -hmm. body and you're just making yourself feel like crap by like releasing it all in your system and then just absorbing it right back up and through your gut like that's totally. terrible so uh, make sure you get educated on that and and do it the correct way with experts you know what they're doing if you do have some heavy metals going on such good advice yeah such good advice here's the other thing to, to consider right so have you ever done a detox and you didn't know what you're detoxing specifically <laughs> um, and look I've been there before too like uh, but now like think of it this way if you if you have if you know for sure you have mercury then you chemically can push mercury out by taking certain minerals and by certainly by detoxing, doing some of these general things that will help with it. But then there's specific things like zinc and selenium and increasing sulfur in the diet. All these things will help that specific mineral more so. So like for aluminum, then you have sil uh, silica. Silica will really help. So if you have someone that's experiencing Alzheimer's, uh, they almost always have aluminum toxicity. And you'll see it. It's a common um, one that almost everyone has. It's really, it's, you know, it's so ubiquitous. We drink out of aluminum cans. It's in our water. It's, it's mm -hmm. ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and silica and selenium, they have certain characteristics of sort of lightness and fluidity. And uh, as you, your personality starts to shift as you drastically cut aluminum and you increase silica. Your skin and hair and all these yeah. things will look better too. So, I've been yeah. using living silica. I think yeah. our friend Tim, uh -huh. <laughs> and the biohacker, if you guys follow Tim, biohacker cool. on Instagram, but I think he shared some living silica that he was using. Mm -hmm. I got it and noticed a tremendous increase in my like nail strength almost immediately. Yeah. Like hair, skin, nails. I was like, oh my gosh, my body's yeah. been needing some of this. Totally. Um, okay, oh, it's so good. Let's yeah. talk about other ratios real quick. What other big important ratios, either from my results that you mm -hmm. want to highlight or yeah. just in general <laughs> people should totally. really watch out for and what it means. All right. So in this particular case, um, we're looking at uh, Tara's metabolism, which is uh, fast. Uh, we want it to, to sort of be more balanced, um, the calcium and magnesium levels, we want to be more balanced. 
So the you know if I was if if it was during a consultation, I would prescribe our upgraded calcium, which has calcium and magnesium in it, which she needs more of both of these, um, and then and that will improve the metabolic rate. Um, that will improve the thyroid. Um, so by it will like yeah it, it, they work synergistically together. So calcium to phosphorus. Um, I, you know, in this case I would be doing, um, actually I meant to bring some for you, but there's uh, I would do probably three doses, four doses a day of calcium and magnesium together and then magnesium at night. Um, and then, you know, retest in two to three months and see how your levels have changed. You know, again, your output might increase, uh, and then, you know, then it, it's, but it's always turning those dials and seeing where you are then turning the dials, seeing where you are. Um, it's another mm -hmm. another thing you're making me think about is the, uh, I guess, experience that I've had and probably I know you've had and probably many of you listening have had of that you don't know that you can feel better. Like everyone mm. always thinks they Huge. feel fine or or just the best that you can feel. And then you hit another <sighs> level and you're like, oh, no, 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 that was not fine. That was not fine in any way, shape or form, you know? So like mm -hmm. this, this stuff I've noticed, this is why I use this with my clients. This is why this is big for me is because that those are the kind of mm -hmm. results that you get when you, when you upgrade or um, balance out your mineral mm -hmm. levels. Like it really, it, I guess the word that I feel like is it makes you feel more balanced as a human. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you just feel like a more, I feel less, now, granted, yeah, I like my natural personality ever since I was a little girl is kind of spazzy and like, woo, and like, you know, I get intense. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my composure level, like what I know on the inside Composed. of just me yeah. throughout the day feeling chill and cool and like I can mm -hmm. like, like I'm not erratically <laughs> driving a, a bus all over <laughs> with yeah. things falling out like this crazy, you know, over the top feeling. It's not that. It's it's a more composed feeling throughout the day, which is really cool to experience. That That is certainly how I, I feel too. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's about balance, right? Um, to the extent that you, yeah, the, and, you just said, you said that really well. So, and other people might be a little, maybe too much in the parasympathetic, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. need to like pull that up a mm -hmm. little bit. You know, oh, certainly. I was too in the sympathetic, but just bringing it yep. to like a more balanced place where you can be in either mm -hmm. at the appropriate time, yep. I think is yep. the, yep. the goal. Certainly. Certainly. I mean, with my, my copper being too high on my last test, uh, from just taking in too much, I was supplementing it. Um, because the test, and I just overdid it. Mm -hmm. And then I ate, I just like, for some reason during winter, I was doing all these like hot chocolates with like a, just a ton of cacao, like, and avocados and intermittent fasting. So I'm breaking, like, I'm just, honestly, I looked, I did a food inventory and I was like, oh wow, like 90% of the food I'm eating has some level of yeah, Absolutely. and I love that you're hitting on that too, because when mm. you do the consult, he's not just selling you products. No. Like they'll just tell you yeah. also different foods to be eating or n different nutritional approaches mm -hmm. you might want to try to help balance those things too, which is super huge and shows yeah. your commitment to helping the individual, right? Because a yeah. lot of it can be simple, like, yeah. are you eating this? Okay, let's back off on that. Yeah, or yeah. more of something else. Exactly, like 100%. I mean, we'd be remiss to say, oh, you're really high in calcium. Like I know dark leafy greens are like known to be great, right. but you need to eat less of them because it is just destroying your thyroid function uh, and your metabolism. And if you don't think that's possible, I mean, it uh, let, just I don't know, do a result. And if that's your case, mm -hmm. then you'll, you'll hopefully trust long enough to make the changes, stay consistent. And then you will hit that new level of energy and health and you go, Wow, I guess they're right. <laughs> All right, let's hit on the thyroid for a second because yeah. I know that's a lot of, you know, it's almost like <laughs> epidemic levels mm -hmm. right now. So what should people be looking for on this test if they're worried about their thyroid or they want to check out their thyroid function? So the thyroid, we triangulate from a couple different ways and everyone's results are going to be different, but your calcium to potassium is a, is a primary look at it. Um, your sodium to magnesium is a secondary look at it because that's a look at your adrenal function. So what I, given the choice in adrenal function, of course, so think of it this way, um, your adrenals are the, your thyroid is the gas and your adrenals are the brake. And to the extent that you just, you know, your adrenals are fatigued, 
then you will have hypothyroidism because the thyroid is like bound. It's, mm -hmm. it's like driving a car and you hit the, uh, the, right. the speed limiter, right? right? And you're like, and that's fine if the speed limiter is set like way higher than you ever need it, but it's not okay if it's set at like 40 miles an hour. And that is really about the equivalent of what I would estimate for some people. And they're like, God, why am I on my third coffee and I can't focus and I'm stressed because I can't get anything done. And does that sound familiar? I mean, I've been there. Um, yeah. You know, as we push hard, you, you were there like getting up at 430 and just going like willing yourself to like, mm -hmm. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this, <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and it, in some ways it's, it's it, that too is a gift because it, 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 you know, makes your mindset even stronger, but, look, but it doesn't have to be that hard. It doesn't have to be that hard. Yeah. It really, and it really shouldn't. Um, yeah. So your sodium to magnesium in this case, you know, I, so I'd rather see it elevated than low if it's not optimal. Tara's is elevated um, on her adrenal function, but she can balance that by uh, more magnesium uh, supplementation. And um, yeah, so that's, that's one way to bring that up. The other note too, is that whenever your magnesium, you see your levels being really, really high. Uh, it's most likely that you need B6 as the cofactor, uh, especially if you're taking hours. Um, the, the, there's a good chance that, I mean, you're going to absorb upgraded magnesium when you take it, but you still need that cofactor if you're like completely out of it or very, very low in it. You still need that. It's, it's like um, in a symphony, you have the conductor. Uh, is like the conductor. It is, it's, it's guiding, it's helping the utilization. So you can absorb it, you still need to utilize it. B6 so, is one of those, like it's- People, it's like everyone One of is, the most abundant yeah. cofactors in so many processes in the body. So right. that's, that's one that I, mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend yeah. uh, considering. Considering. <laughs> yeah. Especially, sure. especially if, you, if your magnesium consumption is really, really low. I'm sorry, really, really, um, yeah, really, really low but your levels show up as high, then there's a good chance that you're B6 deficient because it's going to show it's high because it's being stored in the tissue. It's not being utilized. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's really key too. So that's just another indication indirectly of adrenal function. So we, we have several ways of looking at adrenals, which in some ways I think the adrenals are more important yeah. than the thyroid yeah, because if if you get your adren yeah so if you get your adrenals really strong through B6 through magnesium through the right balance of all of these magnesium potassium sodium your currency really of uh, what you spend in adrenally then your thyroid as long as you have the iodine the zinc the copper I made a supplement for that I don't think it's here but yeah, um, thyroid. Yeah, peak thyroid, it's, it's uh, like for the person that needs that supplement, um, a doctor, um, Dr. Molly messaged me recently. She's like, I have so much energy. And it's because her adrenals were strong, but her thyroid needed, she was low, like kind of in all of these things is the perfect mm -hmm. thing for her. Um, but yeah, iodine is, is essential. Um, but you don't want too much of that if your adrenals are shot because then you're like pushing the gas really hard when what when you really need to nourish your adrenals mm. so the thyroid can you just kind of let off the brake and then hey now you're you're not 40 you're at 65 mm. mile per hour you know as a example as a metaphor um so yeah that's good does that uh yeah. that, and that's and that's really the way to sort of demystify in simple terms hypothyroidism and what to do about it or hypo uh adrenal activity um, yeah. Okay, I want to hit the last one. I really want to hit on is your new upgraded memory. Do we have yeah. that over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I know, like, we, when we were in Austin, you yeah. were like, "I'm so proud of this. I've been working on this for like a year or mm -hmm. over a year or something." So can you talk yeah. about what's in this and why? Amazing. Yeah, sure. So, and for anyone that hasn't listened to this, um, I really got into this because two reasons. There were like very, um, you know, strong emotional connections. One. Uh, in my early 20s, I was starting to lose my memory, uh, but that was really my short-term memory. I was, that was coinciding with uh, losing someone really close to me and watching her just sort of go from like beautiful and vivacious and full of life to having her thymus gland removed, having this, having that, being on 
uh, pregnizone being, and just her whole body sort of attacking itself. Um, when we could have removed some of these medications, got her healthy, balanced her levels. All right, we cut off again. Sorry, guys. So we're going to continue on from our talk on. Yeah, so, so we're talking about absorption before we get to upgraded memory to kind of, if you guys, just in case you didn't see the uh, first or second episode. So I was a chemical engineer and I had really my back against the wall. And I was like, wow, um, I'm not, I spent a lot of money on different tests. I finally did one of these hair analyses. I realized that I was not absorbing. I was really upset because for about a year and a half leading up to this, I had been taking a lot of the nutrients just intuitively that I needed, but I was not absorbing enough of them to banish a um, deficiency, like a severe deficiency, kind of like what Tara had initially when she started working with us, where it was like <clears throat> super, super low. I was about at that point, uh, a little bit lower. Um, and it's really bad, it's really rare to see it that bad. Uh, but you know, that was magnesium. There were some other nutrients as well. And I was already taking really good brands. So I was thinking, what do I do? Like, what do I do? But the, really the only thing chemical engineers get paid to do, we have a very practical training where you, you, you know, you get a minor in math, minor in chemistry, a bunch of physics, and you take an industrial process and you make it more efficient. Like that's what you do. And, um, I remember being really interested in nanotechnology, which sounds like super, super crazy, but um, it just like so many things, like it can be de demystified. And um, yeah, so today, like the products that we have are, are a result of that. And it's pretty amazing. So what I realized is like particle size is a really key contributor and then making that stable. So it's a, it's a unique uh, sort of method. And I mean, I think you feel it with a lot of the products. I know I do, a lot of people seem to have that result, but I just mentioned that because if you go through the effort of doing one of these tests, you, I don't want you to be let down. You probably will be if you take normal, um, like colloidal sort of minerals that are five to eight times the size of your red blood cell, and you have to depend on a leaky gut to digest them instead of going straight into the bloodstream. So, you know, upon digestion. So, and there's more, you can find more on the website. I think we've talked about this more, but, um, so I won't go super in depth, but this, uh, so all the products carry that sort of technology. With upgraded memory, you have um, just a blend of, of five different minerals that I've seen so many people be deficient in, first of all, and they all contribute to um, like lower uh, cognitive function. So, you know, you have um, iodine, you have boron, you have phosphorus, you have manganese, you have molybdenum. And all of these things play a really interesting role in how the brain works. And um, it's, first let me say, it's good for both men and women, but it is a great supplement for guys that seem like they feel like their libido's low uh, they feel uh, like kind of sluggish mentally, things like that. And that might be particularly pronounced if that wasn't always the case for you, right? So these are things that, we're, that the body doesn't store very well that you sort of need to get on a daily basis. Like boron is awesome um, for fatigue. It improves memory, um, phosphorus, and, and you know, like boron's also sort of synonymous with intelligence, so is phosphorus. Um, and then there's, there's just so many things. So I've, I've written, uh, some down so I can just go through, but, uh, molybdenum, it's, uh, essential for enzymatic function. It reduces fatigue. It increases protein utilization so that of course, when you're eating protein and you're not utilizing it well, you can get a sort of inflammation effect. So that could be something you're low in, uh, and that could be because of low stomach acid. There's so many reasons, right? Um, iodine, um, you know, utilization of phosphorus, calcium, silica, it's antiviral, it's antibacterial. It's one of the few things that's actually antiviral, which I think probably a lot of people listening to this know by now that Germex is not actually antiviral. Uh, but PSA, if you didn't know that, <laughs> it's, um, big, you know, there's just an ocean between being antiviral and antibacterial. Mm -hmm. So and that's, that's why, you know, for a long time they would like swab your arm before they would put a needle in. Um, yeah, so it's, it's really quite amazing. 
um, phosphorus, uh, key for metabolism, uh, white blood cell formation, essential building blocks for the brain, nerve formation, higher intellectual capacity, depends on that, mention that. And then manganese, manganese is one of my favorites. I mean, it, it's like so many things, it's toxic after a certain point, but it, it works with the thyroid, with the roxine. Uh, memory, libido, um, relief of anxiety, uh, in part because you're just, you have more energy. And I find, I find that you really can defeat a lot of anxiety if you have the energy potential to get over that metaphorical hurdle. So wow. imagine you're running, yeah, yeah. yeah. So point. imagine you're running a race and you feel like the hurdles are low suddenly, and, or lower, and you can clear them. You're not anxious about clearing them. That is the place I want to be. Yeah. Um, and to be any other place is like going to cause anxiety if you're someone that's like, you know, going for it, right? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the other thing that's lesser known about manganese is super interesting is it speeds up recovery post workout. So if you're low, and almost everyone is, because for a couple of reasons, I think the RDA of manganese is really low. Uh, I think most people, it's a blind spot in supplementation. Um, and then the soil is depleted. We talked about this for, this is true for a lot of different nutrients, but, um, yeah, I asked Barton why he had isolated my, man uh, manganese into its own supplement. Cause you don't see that that often, you know, when he was mm -hmm. just like, cause everybody's low in it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, totally. And, and, you know, like a steak used to have like 40, 50 years ago had something like 60% more manganese and iron and, uh, just a lot of other nutrients. And because the topsoil has gone from like 18 inches on average to like three or four, I, I believe, in, in a lot of places around the world, um, the, you know, like it's just, it's essential until we figure out this regenerative agricultural uh, approach across the whole planet and we can, and we really need to work on this as a mission critical, we need to take care of ourselves in a very like targeted way. Um, yeah. and that will help us have enough energy to overcome the hurdles and innovate more. And I mean, this is, it's, the, yeah. Awesome. I yeah. love that approach. I love what you've done. I, I was familiar with the nanoparticles. That's why I got so excited yeah. when we first met because I understand that concept and I, and I appreciate you yeah. putting the work in to do it. And that's the thing, like being in the health industry, you get disillusioned pretty quickly because you realize a lot of these supplements that are on the market are made Most by business people and marketers. Yeah. They're not made by health professionals at all. No. They literally just go over to China and buy the cheapest bulk crap yeah. that they possibly can and market up as much as they can. And that's what you're buying on Amazon. Yeah. So like, that's the reality. And then yeah. you have other more niche companies like Barton, yeah. who has like a personal history and yeah. people that he has loved and seen them suffer and is like, I'm going to stop suffering. I'm <laughs> going to make something quality. So, um, that's why you get stuff like this that actually works. So that's why I'm such a huge fan and I, and I appreciate you so much and what you've created and it's helped me so much. Thank it's helped you. my clients so much. And I yeah. just, I appreciate you taking the time as well. Um, yeah, where, thanks. where, where would you like to send people? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think the best place for anyone, uh, would be sh just straight to upgradedformulas.com. Um, you know, you can find a test, a consultation. That's really a great place to start. Um, there's, you know, I think pretty much everyone could benefit from some potassium, some magnesium, uh, some iodine. Uh, you pretty much don't get those things. But um, yeah, I mean, you can follow us on Instagram as well too, at Upgraded Formulas. I'm at Barton Scott uh, underscore on Insta. But um, really that's, I would say, just head to the website, yeah. take care of yourself, um, just get it started, like try it out, um, do a like before and after test and know that to make really, to make lasting change, to go back to that example of driving a car, you turn left, you don't want to go in a circle. You want to get your results. These results are really, like Tara, you know, we we did these results probably a month ago. We, we don't want to act on results for more than like two months. Uh, well, three, if you just got them, you have like 90 days to like sort of act them, then you need a new action plan. Love that. Because your, your, your chemistry lab is changing. 
Right. Right. Yeah. And you're not like, I need to mega dose this one mineral for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. right, thank you for, totally. for pin pointing that out. Totally. Uh, appreciate that. And yeah, guys, we'll put a link in the show notes. Um, again, I, you've probably heard me say at the beginning of the episode a million times, but you can get 10% off on anything from upgraded formulas with the code inside out. And so I'll link that below, but make sure you take advantage of that. And thank you, Barton, for offering that. Amazing. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Barton, thank you. Cool. Such a pleasure.